Hi, I'm Charlene Waksburg Hansker. Today we're gonna to talk about the art of packing. My top tips for packing are keeping it organized, simple, minimal, pack for the right events, use your garment bags as tools. This way, you'll know exactly the right pieces to pack in the right shape of the garment bag. So let's get packing. The first thing I think about when I am traveling is that I like to organize my clothes for different events. You always wanna get a great garment bag that's just easy to travel with and has enough room that you can pack more than one item in. I personally love these black suede thing hangers. They actually don't take up any room in your suitcase and they take up no room inside of your garment bag. I like to use different lengths of garment bags. For longer garments, I use the longer garment bags. For the shorter items, I like to use a shorter garment bag. Once again, all my items are organized for my looks. I like to bring things that are very easy and minimal to travel with. I've already estimated the right amount of pieces that I am going to pack inside of the garment bag. Once again, as you notice, I keep everything on the hangers. And as I've mentioned before, these hangers aren't bulky. Once you have your items all in the bag, I would say in a, a medium sized garment bag, I usually can get at least 10 pieces in it without making it too bulky. Now to my smaller pieces, I like to use a smaller traveling bag. I love this bag because first off, it's very affordable and it holds many items. This is a trick that I learned when I worked at The Gap many, many moons ago, is that you get a book, board, whatever it is, and you basically fold it over, just shape it to the size of the book, and then you fold it. This way you can pack as many items as you like. And another thing is that when I pack, I like to keep it all organized by colors as well. The trick is after you put the item in, then you slide the book out and then you place it inside of the travel bag. There is one item in there. And another thing that I know is that whenever I travel, I hate unpacking. So this saves me a lot of un unpacking time. I literally take it out of my suitcase and I put the entire bag into the drawers at the hotel or if you're at a friend's house, wherever you are, and then you don't have to worry about it. When I do buy these bags, I try to get at least three or four. So there's ones for my shorter items and then the others I use for my underpinnings, which are my bras, underwear, whatever that may be. You want to make sure that you keep it separated so you can hold as many as you can. So in this bag, you can at least hold maybe about, if it's bulky, I would say six to eight pieces. You can always even consider something like if it's a jean or a t-shirt that won't take so much room. The last thing I always pack are my products. This way, because usually products don't take that long um, after I pack my clothes. For this uh, travel toiletry bag, I love to put my favorite eye creams. So if it's Dr. Lancer, Dr. Barbara Strom, I usually put that with my face scrubs, my face lotion, and anything to do with the face, I usually pack in this bag. In this bag, it has two compartments. I love these bags for the simple fact that they're nylon, they're easy to pack, they're very light, and they hold so much, it's unbelievable. I love to put in here my body lotion, my hair creams, my hair spray, anything to do with the hair and body, I usually pack in here because of the two compartments. For this bag, it's great for my makeup. This little bag may seem small, but it holds tons. So I pretty much pack everything for my makeup in here. Um, depending on how much body products and face products I'm traveling with, which is usually, honestly, a lot. So I like to get a small little travel container 
and these containers, depending on how much you're traveling with, you can actually put your body lotion, body oil. But one of the tricks is because these tops are usually easily to pop up when you travel. So I usually love to get the first aid tape and seal it at the top this way. When I'm traveling, when I put them inside the bag, they literally, they don't pop open. They stay sealed the entire trip. And then you just stick it in your bag. I have all my items organized and now I'm going to start packing my pieces for my trip. I always put the larger garment bags on the bottom first. I put the bag in, I fold it over a bit. This way it's laid inside of the suitcase perfectly. Then I put the next item on top. The trick is to not keep all the hangers the same direction because it takes up less room. I would fold it the opposite way of the other garment bag. <laughs> the opposite side, I like to put my toiletries, my sweater, all of my extra items. At last but not least, I like to add my shoes. I like to put one shoe per bag and when you buy your pair of shoes, they always give you these extra shoe bags, so I keep all of them. And my thing is, it's easier to pack when you just put one shoe per bag. You're ready to go.